as you can see, I have quite the assortment of Festool sanders. Um, I'm going to start off with the LS-130 to get some of these corners in here after I glued it together. A little bit of glue residue. I want to make sure I get that sanded off real well. Then I'll be moving over to the, uh, the DTS, the 400 EQ. Uh, this is a great vibrator sander for uh, getting some of the details closer to the corners where I don't want to do any damage with the spin sander. Um, and on, on these legs, I will be using the, the 125, and um, the 6-inch sanders are a little big for this. I'll just keep those focused on uh, for the tabletop. And um, the Rotex uh, will be used again when I assemble it, and I want to sand the tabletop with the legs, get that end grain, uh, grind the end grain down real nice, sand that in, and then I'll polish it up. I'll bring it, I'll, I'll end up using this. Uh, the 150 and polish it up right when I'm done using the Surfix kit. So what you're looking at here is Festool's Linear Sander. It's the LS130 EQ Lineal Detail Sander. Um, it sells for about $410. Uh, the different Contour pads are available uh, and sold separately, and they're they're tool-free changing, so uh, it, it's a snap to change over to different profiles, and it makes the true linear sanding uh, a breeze to do with this tool. This is the Festool DTS 400 EQ Orbital Finish Sander. It sells for $255. And it's just a great all-around sander. It's, uh, it's a small sander, it has a short stroke, so it gives you a super fine finish, and it's compact and lightweight and great for working in those tight areas. This is Festool's ETS 125EQ Random Orbital Finish Sander. It sells for about $195, and it's probably the uh, lightest weight uh, finish sander, uh, most comfortable finish sander that I've used. It's real compact and... Uh, really uh, a small amount of vibration on it, just overall a great sander. So the first step in sanding this table is to use the Rotex. And I'm going to use on the more aggressive pattern and uh, that's to allow me to grind in the table with the end grain of the legs that's protruding through the table and I have to end up nice and flush. So I'm going to start off with a hundred grit and uh, it, it's in pretty good shape now, so I think uh, the 100 grit will do it. And what I'm using is um, uh, the, my shop dust extraction system. I have a remote control switch here, so that's the hose hanging connected into it, and uh, it's on my swing arm. So I'm going to start off with that. Without that gear-driven dual sanding mode on the Rotex, I would have had to start out with a lot lower grit sandpaper if it had been any other sander. So I sanded the entire table with the Rotex starting at 100 going to 120. I skipped 150 and went to 180. And then I changed over to the ETS 150 and hit it with 180 again, working my way up to 220 before I finished the table. Be sure to watch the next video on using the Surfix OS kit.